Let's do some sample problems. This is a sample problem or a practice problem that is on uh, page 14 of uh, Study Guide and Intervention. It says write a compound statement for each conjunction and disjunction, then find its truth value. Okay? So we're going to play with this. First of all, we're going to write the compound sentences, and then we're going to come back and do truth tables with it, so it's going to take just a little bit to do that. How do we write P and Q? Well, we write P and Q. It's pretty simple. P and Q is 10 plus 18. 10 plus 8 equals 18. And what? September has 30 days. Pretty easy. There's number one. Let's write P or Q. Represent it either way. P or R, I mean. P or R. Number two. What's P? 10 plus 8 equals 18. Or a rectangle. Q and not R. Well, we got to make a not R up there first, don't we? So let's make a not R. Not R. The not R, represented that way, is the negation of that. Put a not in it. A rectangle does not have sides. Okay? So that's what we're going to be looking at. Q and not R. September has 30 days and a rectangle not have four sides in here instead of fives, that wouldn't be good. Sides. Okay? So we made our statements. There they are. P and Q. Write down P, put an N, write down Q. P or R, write down P, put an R, and write down R. Q or R, write down Q, or write down R. Q and not R, write down Q, and write down not R. That's how you make compound statements, okay? Pretty simple. Now what we want to do is construct truth tables that will give us the same thing. We're going to leave this here because we're going to need it for that truth table. But instead of compound statements, we're going to create a truth table on this. Okay? All right. So let's see what we've got here. We're going to create four truth tables, one at a time. Go through them and let you see how we do this. Um, number one, we're going to create a table. Put a line right here. Okay, so we're going to create a table. And we're only doing two at a time, so we'll, we'll make it so we can do that. Okay. I think we can get 
by with something about like so. Alright, cut this in half like that, cut this in half right there, cut this in half right there. Okay, so let's look at the first one. What do we need? Well, we obviously need a P. We obviously need a Q. And then we need a P and Q. We're going to leave this blank. We'll use it on a different table. All right, so tell me, P, is that true? What's its truth value? True. This truth value. What's the truth value of this statement? September has 30 days. Is that true? Say a little poem or whatever you do. Truth value equals T. How about this one? Rectangle has four sides. What's the truth value of that one? Truth value is T. How about this one? What's the truth value of that one? Well, the truth value of this one is T. The truth value of this one has to be false. Okay? So we've got our truth values laid out. Let's do this one. So, T, T, F, F, T, F, T, F. Let's just put them. T, T, F, F, T, F, T, F. What do we know? They both have to be true, so this has got to be true. This is going to be false. This is going to be false. This is going to be false. Now, let's circle the truth values. True, true. So, what's this one going to be? Statement number one is going to be true, isn't it? Got it? Pretty simple? All right. Now, show you how this works. Actually, I'm just going to come around and do that. Come around and do that. Come around and do that. For the second statement, what do we need? P or R. R, R. So we're just going to erase this little thing, and we're going to put what there? R. We're going to erase this, and we're going to erase this. What's going to happen? It's going to go like that, and we're going to put an R there. Now we're going to have to erase these. Okay? All right? So that goes. So let's do P, R, R. Or, if they're both true, then it's true. If one of them's true, then it's true. If the other one's true, then it's true. If they're both false, it is false. Okay? So let's circle the truth values for each statement. Q and R. Or P and R. Okay? So when is this thing going to be, what are the values of this? Wow. There, this is true, so this is going to be true. This is true, so this is going to be true. Okay? What is the truth value of this statement? It's going to be true, isn't it? Why? Because they're both true. Okay? Got that? That's our second statement. Notice we haven't even read the statements. All we're concerned about is the T and F and the truth value. That's all you have to concern yourself with when you look at your truth table. Now let's look, look at Q and R. So what are we going to do over here? Well, we're going to erase this again. We're going to erase this again. Okay, we're going to erase this again. We're going to erase this again. Okay, and we're going to erase this. And we're going to erase the P this time. Why? Because we're going to replace it with what? Q. Q. Q or R. What's the value of Q? T, T, F, F. T, F, T, F. Wow. Same, same result, right? So, what are the truth values of Q and R? So what's the possible value? We know it's this right here. They're combined. We know 
is going to be true here, even though that's not going to be there. We know it's going to be true here. So what is the outcome of this particular combination? It's true. Okay? All right. Now let's look at the last one. It is a little interesting. We can leave Q up there. We can leave R up there because we're going to need it. We're going to have to erase this one because we're using an AND and we're doing something a little different, so we're going to use that column in between. What do you think we're going to put in that column up there? Huh? What do you think? What are we looking for here? Not R. Now let's make that a squiggly so it's correct. So the squiggly R. Alright? So squiggly R. If R is true, this is going to be false. If R is false, this is going to be true. If R is true, this is going to be false. If R is false, this is going to be true. Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for Q and not R. Okay? Well, and means that these two columns, Q and not R, so we're looking at this column right here and this column. We can ignore the R column. Look at these two columns. In order for the and to be true, what has to happen? Both of these columns have to be true. Well, what's going to happen here? It's going to be false. Why? Because this is false. They're both true here. That's going to be true. They're both false here, so that's going to be false. Well, this one's false here, so this is going to be false. Okay? Well, what do we know about Q? It's true. What do we know about not R? It's false, right? What do we know about the outcome of this thing? It's false. This is their outcome. Because this is what's real. The only time it could possibly be true is when these two are true, not R is not true. Okay? Look at these, study them. This will uh, provide you a basis for what the homework is and what we're going to do with truth tables. It's just the beginning of being able to do truth tables. When I was developing software and doing logic to determine uh, algorithms and what happened when, make decisions, to uh, make sure the software worked all the time, every time, in every possible situation, I developed truth tables for conditions. I would start very small with one condition, two conditions, three conditions. Eventually got up to one table one time that had eight or nine different conditions on them. Fairly large truth table. Took some time to go through it to look at every possible situation. But it was the only way that I could look through the table and look through every condition and make sure that I had considered every possibility. Because you never know what kind of data is going to come through a system how that system is going to react. Okay? It's one way to look at it. Think of a lawyer in a case. Think of an investigator investigating a crime. If this happens and this happens, what's the result? If this and this happens, this result. Whoa, if this happens, that could not have happened. Okay? Imagine being able to do that and to summarize those kinds of things. Any kind of investigation. Where did a leak come from? All right? Do those kinds of things when you're investigating a car trouble, a disease. What happened? It looks like this. It can't be this. Does it look like this? And it can't be this. Does it look like this? And this and this and this. So you put together all the conditions and they come together with a little truth table and says, oh, you have this, this, and this, and this, or this. Then you have a possibility of this outcome. All right? Welcome to logic. Definitions, truth tables, and some samples.